Hi, today I'm going to show you how to insert images into Photoshop. Today I'm working with Photoshop CC 2018 on a iMac. The first thing I'm going to do is go up to File, Open, and I'm going to open this field image for demonstration purposes. So I have my first image in Photoshop and it's brought it up in this layers panel here as the background. Now if I wanted to insert, insert a second image into here, such as cows, then I need to go up to File, Open, and I have this cow image here that I've uh, put in my demonstration file. Now what's happened here is that your the cow image has come up as a completely separate document. So in this tab here, we have the field, and in this tab here, we have the cow. But we obviously want to get the cow into the field. So if we go up to edit, and sorry, if we go up to select and all, you can't see it very well, but around the outside of this image there are some running ants and that has selected the whole of my image. So what I need to do now is ensure that this icon here is checked which is the move tool and I simply click on my cow, hold down your mouse and simply drag it across to the field icon at the top, drag it across and simply drop it and there you have your cow or other image on top. So what you've now ended up with is your background, which is your field image. And on top of that, you have another layer, which is your cow image. And you can simply check this on and off by clicking on the eye icon to the left of your layer. Now, this basically is as if you've cut out your cow and stuck it on top of your field. So this is now a separate um, separate entity and you can move this around by again ensuring that your move tool is selected, clicking on your cow and moving it around. You must ensure that your layer, this layer that the cow is on, is selected. You can rename it by just simply double clicking and renaming it so you know that it's your cow layer. So I've got my cow in my image and now I would like to resize it. So there's a couple of things you need to know about resizing. The first thing is you need to resize it by using something called the free transform tool. So you click on free transform and you'll see that this rectangular selection comes up with all these little square icons around the edge. Now this simply allows you to push and pull your cow to resize it in any way that you wish, bigger or smaller, um, and, and simply move it around your image. However, there is a problem with resizing. If you're going to do it once and you're happy, you click the um, tick icon at the top of the page and you're done. However, I'll go back to my original cow. If I go up to the free transform tool again and I decide to make my cow very small and I then check the tick icon to say OK and then I come back and think oh actually I want it to be a little bit bigger. I go back up to my free transform tool and I stretch out my cow again. <gasps> it's now horribly pixelated and that's because it's trying to stretch out that tiny cow at the bottom and it hasn't retained the information it had when you imported it. So we'll have to go back a couple of steps. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go up to something um, so what we need to do is we simply need to turn this into something called a smart object so you go up to a layers panel you go down to smart objects and you check convert to smart object and what it will do is it will retain the information in that layer and it will simply give you a little icon here to show you that it's now a smart object. What this now allows you to do is to resize your 
image. And then if you do decide to come back later on and then resize it again, making it bigger, you can see it still retained all the original information and isn't pixelated. Now, when also resizing um, your images, most of the time you want to um, increase the size or decrease the size at the same ratio that it's currently at. So sometimes what you'll do is grab the corner and then all of a sudden you'll stretch it out lengthways or you'll make it too tall and then it doesn't look right. So in order to stop that from happening, when you transform, you click on the corner and then you hold down the shift key and then pull and push your image to resize and it will simply resize it. Sorry, my computer's got a bit of lag today. Um, it will simply resize it at exactly the same ratio. So I now want my cow to be about that size and I can just move him a tiny bit and once I'm happy I just simply go up and click on the tick icon at the top. Now it's very easy to duplicate your images already in Photoshop and by doing that I can simply click on this cow layer and drag it down to the bottom and now I can see I've got a cow copy. So I have two cows which you can't see at the moment because one's on top of the other. But if I click on my copy, I ensure that I've got my move tool checked, I can simply click on my cow, move it across, and I now have a second cow, which is this layer here. So I can switch him on and off, and you can see I now have two cows. Now I want to turn this cow around and pop him on the field up here, just for demonstration purposes about how you can transform images um, within Photoshop. So the first thing I need to do is ensure that my second cow layer is checked. You can see here, I've got that one checked. Then I go up to edit and I go down to the transform icon and I just want to turn him round. So I'm gonna check this flip horizontal icon here and simply turn him round. And I want to put him on the field up here. So I've got my move tool checked and I'm going to put him on the field, but obviously he's way too big. So again, I'm going to go up to edit free transform. I'm going to get my rectangle around him. I'm going to click on the top right, hold down the shift key and simply reduce the size of my cow. And I'm just going to move him over a bit here. I'm happy with that so I simply go up and I check the uh, tick icon up there. So now I've got my two cows in my field and I can simply switch them on and off at will. And then if you want to move them around, you simply click on the layer that you want and move your cow around or object that you've placed into your image. Now, if you've, you're happy with your image now and you want to save it out, there's two uh, ways in order to save your image. If you want to save it with your uh, layers, so you can come back to it later on and adjust it. If you go up to the Save As icon, you can either save it as a Photoshop document or you can save it as a TIFF document and this, both of these will ensure that your image is saved with your layers preserved. However, it will create quite a large document. If you want to simply save it as a JPEG to use uh, on the, online or for a printers etc and simply just save it as a JPEG then you can go up and rename it whatever you want. And then just press save, whether you want a small file, medium size or large file. And then just simply press OK and that will now save your uh, whole picture as a JPEG. So I hope that's helped. My next video will be on using text in Photoshop. If you're interested in using text in Photoshop, please subscribe or come back another time. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching.